Hello, this is Bob Hollis of the Mobius Network with a demonstration of DT Register, event registration for Joomla websites. And so today uh, we're starting on the front end of the CRRA certification website where we're using it under event registration up here on the right. And this is all currently set for uh, administrators only, so a lot of these tabs are not yet visible to the public until we have an actual uh, item set up there and a reason to have the button live. So the first thing you'll notice is that I am logged in, and since I'm logged in as an administrator, I have access to each of the tabs up here. And the main area that any site user will work from is their community builder profile. So when you click on view your profile, it will bring you to your main area of uh, command, control, and information. So once they're there, you'll see that I have uh, tabs. I can edit my profile. Any end user can. So you come in and edit and can click to update their profile, update their image. And these are all subject to moderator approval, which shows over here in CB workflows for administrators. In our tabs section, you've got you know primary contact info. You can put in additional information, and I could do that by editing my profile. It shows project fork activity, any project fork uh, projects that are listed, and I don't have any sync to this one yet. Public profile is a an image um, um, a profile management system that allows our users to come out in and put in professional public profiles. And then registered events is what we're here to talk about today. This is a listing of any event that I've registered through for registered for through DT register. So if I were to click this event, it would show the details of the event um, for me to register. Uh, here I'm already registered. So I can come up here also and click my events. And as a user, I can look at uh, the payments, you know, what's been paid, the amount due, the event status, and I could cancel the event if I'd like to based on the settings in the back end of the system. As a um, event manager or person who can create events, I could go down to event management and click on new and create a new event right here from the front page. And I won't go through each of these details, but when you read through them, they're all pretty clear as to what they mean. You can set up your general information, any discounts and fees, and how you would like them to apply. You can customize the messages that go out to people as they register. Set the name and email address for the messages as they go out create or eliminate fields and determine whether or not they're required and whether or not it's for each member or for the group only for group registrations and determine what gets shown in the user panel which again is how an end user can edit their events and see what events they're registered for so that's an overview of what you can do from the front end the back end has far more options in terms of uh, the overall configuration and that sort of thing. And by the way, each of these blue dots will give you some hints if you're, you know, the I stands for information. That's pretty universal on websites. So you can use these if for any reason the label is not descriptive enough. Now, besides what you can do from the front end as an administrator, you can log into the back end, which would be just at the end of our URL greeneducationhub.org front slash administrator and that would take you to a login page that allows admins to log in and arrive at this control panel for Joomla on the back end. Once you're here go to components DT register and in DT register you'll see that there are categories listed as menu items or items and then we also have icons that replicate the menu Configuration, um, nothing very complex or difficult, uh, but a lot of information to complete, including your general setup, how you want event listings to show, calendar settings, messages and details, email addresses, 
you can choose who can see the registrants and what they can see. Set up information for, by default for the user panel. Uh, determine the profile to sync, and in this case we have it all syncing with Community Builder, as I showed you on the front end. And you can also set up barcode settings so that if you, people print things, they would get an individual barcode with their registration that could be tracked on site with a barcode reader. So that's those are the configurations. Categories are just different categories of events. And like with any Joomla menu system, you would just click New up here in the top right to create a new category as needed. CSV export is comma separated value export so you can export a list of all registrants into an Excel table or um, open office whichever you prefer to use or even just a plain old CSV file. Fields here's where you can set up all your different fields uh, provide an email tag label and remember that this can be cut and pasted into or copied and pasted into any email to populate the email with that information for any specific person. Uh, so we've got uh, the fields, the discount codes, email registrants, where you can send out an email to everybody who's registered for a particular event, locations, And this is where you would put in the address for any locations where you'll be having events so that they would show on a map. Um, events themselves obviously list here. Payment options. And here you can set up all the different payment options you might like to use. So most of the popular ones are included as options as you can see. PayPal, PayPal Pro, Authorize.net, Google Checkout. Permissions. This is where you set the permission for any specific group and determine who's going to be able to uh, access what specific information. And records. Uh, this is where you would keep records of everybody who's registered for any event and you can sort them by event or all different methods. So that's a, a general overview of how to use DT Register for Joomla. Uh, there are a lot of details in here, you know, for example, in configuration, uh, just looking at general, uh, there's a, a lot to fill out. But once these things are set up the first time, they typically don't have to be changed very frequently. All you have to do is uh, either copy an event and modify it as needed, or simply create a new event and uh, start over but most of the general settings will be there. If you have any questions, let me know. Bob at the Mobius Network .com. Thank you.